dryer quit working today so I need to check it and uh, this one is a Samsung and this is model right here so I'm gonna take a picture of that so I can do some research and then uh, while I'm doing the research I'm gonna change the battery uh, usually there's uh, two limiter switches and uh, coil down there so let me uh, go look this up and change the battery and I'll be right back okay guys uh, so I've done started this video twice uh, I had to do some research but uh, anyway this is a uh, Samsung dryer so this is moisture sensor and all that stuff this model I don't forgot the model number but it's like um, J3000 or something like that anyway um, I was looking at it trying to figure out how to get into it I know how to test the sensors and the coil and all that stuff because see the problem with this one here let me get into that the problem with this one here is it quit working. It, it runs, but it doesn't heat. And usually in my experience, that's either one of a couple of things. It's either the heating coil has gone bad, and you then burn it up, short it out, uh, broke, or your temperature control has gone bad, or um, you have um, thermostat inside the uh, coil itself to keep it from getting too hot. So um, we're going to try and find those and test them without tearing everything apart. But the way this one here is built, this here is one solid case all the way around. So that means you have to go in the front. I watched one video of the guy, he was like taking the hinges apart right here. You don't have to do that. Um, a lot of people don't realize that the tops on these things, that's a hinge on the back. Tops on these things can be popped by sticking a screwdriver right in here and prying up this is a putty knife and it's not going to work but it's going to get me to my point um, of interest i'm going to use this chisel since i got it handy uh wait a minute i got a big screwdriver i'm not prepared for this i'm just doing this on the swing as you can see i still got a broke toe uh I'll put this in here pop that clip loose Tight. Let me switch hands here. Um, anyway, just gonna get that in there. Pop it loose like that, and this will come up. And like I said, those are hinges. See, that just goes back and holds it up. That's the uh, dryer drum right there, and this is the uh, door switch wire. The coil is down here. So what we want to do. We're going to have to take this front bracket loose. One, two, three screws. And while I'm in here, I'm going to actually clean out the ductwork because, uh, well, it's not mine and other people didn't take care of it. Uh, but I use it, so I'm going to clean it out. I will use my drill, but I don't know where my bit is for it, so help my daughter. Uh, Rebuild the front end on her car after she had an accident. And uh, all my tools are scattered. I'm sure there's other ways you can take this front off, but uh, you can see the, um, see the uh, seam right there. That's where it comes off at. And I'm not exactly sure what all is hooked together in here. Crooked like that. Okay. All right, and then these clippy things here need to go down. Some little clippy things. Uh, let me see. Do that. pull this apart I'll be right back okay after opening the door and looking in here there was another screw right here so that's one screw there a screw here a screw here and a screw here one two three across the top and then you push those clips in 
and then the top will come loose. Let's make sure there's no more. Okay, I'm a liar already. Them two down there I need to come out. Um, this one. All right, I got those two screws out down there. Now, back here where this here door switch is, there's a clip there. We need to get that loose. And I'm not sure how it comes loose. Huh. Okay, so that, that um, plug wouldn't come loose, so I just left it alone. I just disconnected the wire out of this harness here so that I can move the door around to that side there. Now we've got to get down here and have a look, so let me lay my cardboard down there. Alright, we're down here on the bottom. We got the face off. This is the blower. This is the drive duct. The, uh, the lint filter comes through here, the uh, hot air comes through here, through all this, and the exhaust through right there. That, I think, on top is the element, so that's where we need to get to, to test it, and make sure everything is working. So let me clean this up a little bit, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, just real quick, I took a screw from here, a screw from here, a screw from here, and the front piece slid right down. This is the blower, and as you can see, it's full of uh, dryer lint, dryer sheets. I'm going to take the vacuum cleaner to it, get it nice and cleaned out. I'm not going to take it apart because this here actually hooks to the drum. If you see the drum moving as I move the, uh, the pulley there. So I'm not going to take that out, but we are going to vacuum it out and I'm going to go through the back and the vacuum as much as I can of that one out. All right, so uh, let's see, I can't see back up in there. I don't think you can either, but that opening right there is, uh, I think the dryer element's in there somewhere. So I'm going to take this screw out and these two screws out and see if we can get in there to it so let me go ahead and do that and i'll be right back all right after a nice long battle with this thing it had two screws in the back the way this thing is built is they mean for you to take these screws out and take the whole drum out and by the time you do that there's nothing left in here you just got a shell so um, remember this is sitting in there like that you got two screws here two screws in the back back here and the one screw in the front that holds the element in the element sits in that hole back there and it draws air or blows air one or the other through there probably blows it through or sucks it through there and then it comes out through here this is the lint filter and it goes through here and then goes out so now that I've got that hunk of junk out, these little pieces down here, these things are sharp as hell. So watch out for them. See, I gotta cut on my finger now from it. There was one wire on this thing I couldn't get loose. So let's pull it out and get the wire loose. Sorry about the camera work. This is the thermostat right here. It tells the element when to cut on and off. This is the limiter switch in case it overheats. And okay, I accidentally cut it off, but uh, anyway, when I was pointing at this here, this here is the element connections here. And this thermostat and limiter switch. 
Um, when you take this apart, there are four screws. One, two, three, four there. And two screw, three screws over here. Um, you have to take at least the top screw off the limiter switch. And since the thermostat is recessed, you probably should just go ahead and take both screws out. You can get away with just taking one out. But we, I took them both out. Um, so... Um, we'll turn this around. We've already figured out that the um, coil is bad by doing the test. And I'll redo the test and I'll show you. Take your screws out real quick. And uh, if, in case you have one of those dryers that has the element in the back, um, don't dry dryer don't put your bras in the dryers with the underwire because the underwire will come out and get in that element and short it out and can cause a fire just a little fair warning there because I've seen it happen had it happen to my mama's dryer okay this one here has a little tab bent over right there so um we're going to unbend that tab. See, it's got two tabs right there, and this one's bent. I'm going to have to bend this one back up, at least a little bit. Sorry, trying to do the camera work. At the same time, Debbie's in. Should to do something. Alright, the camera cut off on me there. I don't know why. Anyway, we're going to test this thing. I like to do it where it beeps at. I don't know if you can hear that, but I like the beeps. So, we'll test the uh, limiter switch in first. We'll put the uh, two terminals on there. And you can see, it's good. Okay, we're going to test the uh, thermostat. Believe it or not, I've already done this three times for you guys. Y'all just don't know it. <laughs> okay. We got a beep, it's doing something, and then we'll check the uh, coil over here. Nothing. The coil is burnt out, and more than likely, it's burnt right there. Yep, you can tell it's burnt right there. So, what we would do is you could either buy the whole coil assembly, which is this thing. And just replace it from here on around which is kind of expensive and for the novice who doesn't know how to do it probably the best option um, in my case uh, what I would do is I would take these here loose these are twisted in there you're gonna pull them out a little bit and bend that little tab back that's on there I don't know if you can see that little tab right there you have to bend that out that back on both of them and then let these pull out. Okay, that ceramic is so it doesn't short out. Um, anyway, then you go ahead and remove each individual uh, thing from these little ceramic blocks right here. Stretch out the coil to the right length and um, snap the new one in. Hook it back up over here. Slide it back in the box. Um, I'm going to do some research and see how much a new coil is, and uh, I'll get back and let you know. Be right back. Okay, I did some research and found out that the element actually cost $45 at the parts store. Apparently, Samsung parts are super expensive. That's just for this part right here. Nothing else. Um, you can buy the actual enclosure and everything off of Amazon for $60 and it comes with a new limiter switch, a new thermostat, and everything already put together. I'll just slide it in. Um, now, I'm going to tell you something and I do not recommend this. I'm going to temporarily fix this because I ordered a new element off of Amazon. It costs $22 but it won't be here until Sunday. And uh, that's just this piece here. 
um, what I did was I took the piece that was broke here and I crossed it over with this piece here so that it makes a connection and I clipped it onto the ceramic. That's going to allow it to make a, a connection right in there. That is not safe and I do not recommend anybody do that but um, since it's going to take until Sunday to get an element I'm going to do that temporarily so I can wash some clothes um, if I have any problems I got the breaker right up there all I got to do is trip it and uh, yeah everything will be okay but that's just me that is not for anybody else so I'm going to go ahead and put this all back together and we're going to see if it works uh, without any problems if it gives me any problems we're not going to do it but uh, like I said we need to wash clothes if I have to I'll go to the laundromat but I'm just trying to um, get by until Sunday so let me do that real quick alright we have it partially back together I want to test it before I go any further so I'm going to turn the breaker on Right, we're going to come over here and we're going to hit the power button and then I've got the door switch off over here I should have plugged that back in there it's closed okay I said before this is a temporary fix do not try this at home um, I'm sure I'm gonna have a lot of haters beating on, beating on me for it but um, in my situation I know what I'm doing I've had this fixed last last a week or so until I could get an element don't mean everybody should do this so let me put this thing back together and we'll go from there All right, one last time. I got it all back together. Here's the door. Door switch. Close. Um, power on. Uh, normal dry. Start. Now, remember, I temporarily fixed this uh, coil by piecing it back together over the ceramic insulator doesn't mean everybody should do that it's not safe because that element could burn out cause a fire but I will watch it when it's in use I'm not concerned I've done this many times in my life because I used to work on appliances but it's definitely not the safe or the right way to do it so if you choose to do this please watch it please be careful stay close to the breaker but, um, I don't have a duct on this because uh, I guess mice chewed it up so I'm gonna get a new one but I'm just checking it for you guys I have to clean it up turns off nice and warm So, and this will be the lint. All that's cleaned out. I cleaned it all out. Sucked out the blower motor. Uh, there you go. All fixed. Well, not all fixed. Partially fixed. <laughs> anyway, I will leave the model number for this in the description. So, in case you guys want to know how to fix this particular one. I do not like Samsung products. I bought a microwave 
I had it for two weeks and it stopped working. Um, every Samsung machine I've ever seen, I've seen people have problems with them. I know there are some out there that are fantastic, but Samsung is not the brand for me. So, these there are not mine, these are my son's. He uh, got them from Rena Center or Aaron's or somewhere like that. And he, he rented them and he, until he paid for them and then he gave them to him. So, yeah, they're not worth it. <laughs> I'd rather have some old thing from years ago pay $50 a piece for them. No, if they go out, it's only $50. Easy fix. You don't have all the electronic stuff on them. But anyway, um, if you like this video, if it helped you in any way, leave me a thumbs up. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the description I and mean, in the comments below. And y'all have a great day. Hey guys, just wanted to add one last thing. I waited a couple of days until I got the uh, new um, element. Just wanted to show you I wasn't kidding. I am going to change the element. And uh, the old one that I pieced together right about there, I am going to swap it out for this one. Um, these are the ends on the element. You see those little tabs right there? Um, when you put the... The, um, this is the tab that goes that you plug the wires into when you push it through this ceramic piece you're supposed to bend that tab so that it holds it in place so I just wanted to be able to give you a better view of that but uh, I just wanted to uh, show you that I was serious about changing the element this is what the new element looks like it's got two cut sides to it so um, yeah just wanted to give you a heads up let you know I wasn't playing, I am going to change it out. But uh, like I said, be careful with that if you do it. Um, anyway, if you enjoyed the video, please leave me a like. And uh, put all your questions and comments down below. And y'all have a great day.